so I want to put the next stuff so how does it start so the so the next stuff as you can see here I'm going to zoom it so uh, the first thing is the base clef so I put a base clef like that then you have the key signature is the same that is the F major and then we have the common time that is a 4-4 four, four. so as you can see the notes have been put in code form which means that most likely this are what is going to be played on the keyboard using the left hand so how do you put these notes on your stuff uh, when you are writing the composition on noteworthy composer so this is it what you do you start with the lowest note so you come here you identify the lowest note which is an F so you click on the F line so uh, the composer has used a whole note you click on the whole note and you press enter then the next note is an A so what you do you click on the A and then you go to the note selector tool and you take the add code member icon on this icon you click on it and it is going to automatically add that A member and it knows that F and A belong to a certain code then uh, the next note is a C again C is part of the F major chord so when I take the cursor to the C part and then I click on the C uh, I click on the on the note then C is put as part of that chord and that chord is now complete and now I can close that bar and go to the next now the second and the third bars have the same code written so allow me to just take this one I just copy it and then I paste them and then I paste it again good now we are as far as bar number four so in bar number four I have the same chords but now in crochet form so how do I put them in so to insert them again I click on the lowest note which is an F uh, the notes used here is the, is the quarter duration and then I insert it using the enter key then I place the cursor in A line and then I say add code member then I place the cursor in C line and then I add the code member again then the next one is a rest so I just uh, press I can uh, right click and then uh, select rest then the next uh, code is the same so I'm just going to copy that and paste it good then the next one is going to be a different code because we have an F is the lowest so I go to F so the F is there I press on enter and then the next note is a, is a B so I go to B and then I click add code member then the next one is a D so I go two steps up and I put a D then I'm going to go down here to the next bar now that bar is complete so I close it so the next one is an FAC just like this one so allow me just to paste it 
then there is going to be a minimum rest so I, I highlight on a minimum and then rest using the space bar then the next one is going to be a G uh, which is a minimum I've already highlighted that so I just enter and then the, it's called member is going to be a B because it was initially a B flat but now it has been naturalized so I'm going to click on a natural accidental or play 7 on my keyboard and then I click the code member and then it inserts it then from there I have a minimum rest I just uh, pressed on spacebar and then the last the, the, the last before the before the, the, the master repeat uh, bar is what we have there is we have an E which has a whole duration press on enter now that has been accompanied by a B flat so here we have a B flat so we have a flat there and then we add it as a chord member and then we have immediately above it is a C so I add it like that and then we have the master repeat close right there then what we have after that is an E and it is in crochet form so I put an E also you can add the note instead of clicking of hitting enter you can use just this add note uh, uh, icon there so I can just use that then its code member is going to be a B but in this case now it's a B flat since we are in F so I select I put the cursor on B flat line and then I click on add code member and then the next one will be a C so just move the cursor is one step up and a C is selected and then I insert the node and then there is a rest of a crochet and then there is a meaning and then after that there is a bar line and then the last last code is an F major chord which is put which is has a um, dotted meaning so we have already have a meaning so I have to dot it and then I enter it and then I move up to its chord member again we have to click on dotted since it is not highlighted and then put it as a chord member and then you move to a C again you have to dot it then you put a chord member and then lastly is a crochet rest like that and now we are done with inserting the notes